Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how we can generate a Mandelbrot set inside of Grasshopper with ChatGPT. And down in the description, you will find this Grasshopper definition that you can generate your own Mandelbrot set. And of course, you can make it more detailed and you can change the color input. Let's begin. This will be our first try to do so. So we will definitely have some problems, issues in between, and we will rely on chat GPT, see if you can solve it or not. Okay, let's try it. I will just ask you to make a GH Python file that can generate Mandel broad set. Okay. So the code is coming and it's even trying to give some color. That's crazy. See if it's gonna work or not. And it explains here that you use the module to generate those points. And then I will just copy this and I will come to here, delete all the code, paste it, paste it. And it says that add point got unexpected keyword argument color. Okay. So I will just come over here. I'll just type in this arrow. And let's see what it will do. It said that the color argument is not building argument in RS at point function. Use RS at point function without color argument. Okay, so I'll copy the code. And I'll come over here, select everything, delete them, paste them, test, hit okay. Okay, now we got it. If you run through very well, that means it's pretty much very decent. So the problem is why it's not working. Okay, and let's see, man here. So I think I should make a list of points. A equals list, and I should A and those points and hit test and hit okay. Okay, so then I got it. This is a Mandelbrot set. And this is the opposite way of what we want. Let's look at into the data again. So I think based on my understanding in the math, I should change this bigger than or equal, right? I will test it and I'll hit okay. And then I got it. So this is a Mandelbrot set. But right now, let's take a look of this beautiful image. It have those fractals growing out of this general shape. How we can do that? Well, we have to increase the density of those points and everything. I will just come over here to the set. I will say, I want to have a more detailed set, more points, more iterations. Okay, I'll hit okay. Here's an update code that generate more detail with more points and more iterations. This is exactly what I want and let's see. So right here, okay, n equals to, okay, so this is the iterations. So. Now I get it. This is an iteration set. It's a hundred. Right here, it updated to a thousand. So let's copy this. Now I think it's working, but it just takes more time. And of course, I have to uh, change those setups to make sure that the GH Python will read the data in the end. Hit OK. I got those points. Wow, look at that. Isn't that ridiculously beautiful? Okay, this is amazing. So yeah, that's it. That's all we have to know, right? Of course, you can jump into it and change all those detail inputs. Look at our reference photo. You are seeing the fractals are growing everywhere. And then same here. This is what we get. The fractals are growing on top of this general shape. And even right here, the details can be seen. So this once again showcased the power of ChatGPT. It's no longer just Stack Overflow. You copy the code and you update it yourself and stuff like that. It can understand why it's wrong. I remember in the beginning, it was trying to have this color embedded into the system, but it realized that, oh, you cannot add color into the GH Python. And it immediately solved that problem by getting rid of that argument. And right here, it explains to you how to increase the detail of this set. And then it tells you that change the iterations, so on and so forth. And also I said, I want more points. And it says that you can change the steps on the X and Y directions, so on and so forth. Again, this is just 
mind blowing and read its documentation and all the instructions. It's actually very well structured and very easy to understand. Thank you again. And I'm looking forward to see you in our next tutorial.